Hey, 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 guess what, guess what, guess what? Chaz Alaska! Still watching the homie Chavez, dude. I say that like y'all are talking to uh, I watched some three videos every year, dude. Sorry if I say shit and it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I've been recording all, all kinds of fuck shit, dude. But I've been fucking taking it down, coming ranting and shit, and it wasn't worth trying. There was nothing to salvage off it, so. If I say some shit and try to reference some earlier video, and you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, my bad. My, my goddamn, my fucking bad, but. I'm getting pissed off. No, I'm not kidding. I'm kidding, fucking. I'm kidding, kidding. But no, I was getting, I'm, I'm getting a little fucking. Uh, like, I'll record a video and it'll be good. I had a bunch recorded and fucked up. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I just need to get some up real quick. Because I thought I did have an update video record, which I had to re record, which I was pissed off. Because that was a good video. Goddamn, isn't on YouTube, so I had to re record it. And I put it up later. So I got to edit it. It's came out 30 goddamn minutes long. For some reason, all my videos come out 30 minutes long for some reason. I don't fucking know why. I'm a, mo I'm a motor mouth. I don't know how to shut up. But, I want all my videos to be good for now on. Um, I'm trying to, you know, do like, I, I don't know if I told y'all or not, I'll probably explain an update video, but I'm trying to take some words, take some advice from Upchurch that he gave to Shotgun Shane, I'm trying to use it as my own, I'm trying to be my own motherfucker, I'm trying to make my own videos, I'm trying to make my shit more interesting, because except for like two or three videos on my channel, even before the reboot, all my fucking shit's been goddamn boring, and I ain't acting stupid, just act stupid, dude, um, I've always kept myself dialed down, trying to act mature on YouTube, a little bit, you all, y'all never, y'all never met the real Mark. In the, since I've been on YouTube since 2015, you know, I've done, I've rebooted this channel like once and I fucking lost, I deleted a whole bunch of videos, wish I hadn't, but it don't matter, because I'll admit it, I was me, I was me about 60%, I figured y'all somebody could handle it, I mean, this right here, this stupid ass guy, this is real me, got at me, alright, I don't even know what the fuck I said, but yeah, I mean, I'm just a stupid, so I'm never trying to be the real me, the back is killing me, dude, it's 9.58 a.m., I have not slept in like a day, I didn't go to bed last night, I don't know how the fuck I'm still up, I keep trying to put videos on my phone. Been on YouTube since I've been on this channel since 2015. 2015 until recently, I got told I got this webcam. I recorded with a phone. This is the only phone in existence that I've ever had. I've, I've gone through a kilo of phones. I'll admit it, I've gone through a kilo of phones. Shitty ass dollar store phones don't burn this. That's seven goddamn gigs for going on an SD card. I record a five minute video and all of a sudden, it just, man, that, that was, video just magically takes up seven gigs. Whatever. Never recorded on my phone again. Um. I'm recording from this side for now. It's gonna suck having to move my fucking laptop all over here when I want to record. But I mean, and I figured you know that'd be bleak. But fuck y'all, y'all ain't never gonna fucking see over there anyway. So God, it doesn't matter. <laughs> y'all ain't gonna see over there. My desk and shit. Fuck it. I'm gonna record like have my camera set like right here. I mean, I got an, on my webcam. Uh, I'm working on getting a tripod because I got shit. I got shit like my flags and stuff moved over there for an actual decent recording shit. But. Um. Did this not start goddamn recording? No, okay, three minutes not. I thought I said ten seconds. I thought we got pissed. I thought I'd be so pissed. You don't understand. So pissed. Okay. Okay, I've said this a million fucking times, but they've all got deleted. I've not said this on any of those three raw videos I got coming out soon. If I repeat something, if I say something in one video and say it again in a video or two later in the very next video, please work with me for a couple videos. That update shit I get uh, put up. And then me continuously, and then having like two more videos that I thought were up, and then making other videos off that, it just fucked me up. Okay, it fucked me over. I got good videos. 30 minutes raw footage I gotta work through and get the good shit out. Get real stupid and random. I'm not deleting those good videos. Low quality, a couple of them because they do on my phone, but good videos. Okay, now, I'm doing a video that I figured I could do pretty quick. Hopefully, this won't take 30 goddamn minutes. It better fucking not. 15, 20, 15 at the goddamn most. So I gotta be quick. No more, no ranting. Um, we can talk about my tattoos. And I gotta tell you a story about this one. This one has a story to it, but I ain't gonna tell in this video. That's gonna be a 30, 40 minute video. Cause I'm gonna start doing shit, um, as story times. Like other, like, YouTubers actually do. But I ain't gonna be that bullshit show. I'm like, oh man, I got jumped by two motherfuckers and I killed one dude and they landed me in the hospital. That's that stupid, that stupid shit y'all always know. That, that stupid shit that y'all always know they're just coming off with the top of their head. That fuck, fucking lie shit. No. Some of my stories gonna be interesting as fuck. Some are gonna be depressing. I'm gonna tell you shit that I think is interesting about my life. Some shit shouldn't be at. Shouldn't. Some shit should not be said on camera. I'm gonna say it anyway. Um. Yeah. Just be looking for that occasionally, not regularly. Just occasionally, I'll be telling if I can remember some shit about my life that I thought was interesting, and I thought maybe someone could relate to and it'd help them. Then I'm gonna tell it. But let's get into my. Let's get into the topic. Hey, we're gonna talk about all my tattoos, dude. All of them. 
I only got four, so I didn't really have much to talk about. But got four. Um, you know, let me all fucking. I'm gonna be naked for y'all for a minute, cause why not? Dude, check out this shirt. I've shown it off like ten different times with. Pretty sure I delete all the videos. If I've already shown it off, my bad. But the Mickey Mouse shirt, dude. My nana caught me smoking weed at her house, and she bought me this and a fucking candle. I got my trippy ass Mickey Mouse DJ shirt, and my fucking necklace. I got another one that's a hella trippy, but I like this one because it's black. And I prefer black. I prefer black. Because I'm still reminiscing on my middle school emo phase, dude. <laughs> Everyone thinks that, dude. It pisses me off. I'm over here like, dude, I just fucking like black shirts. They look good on me. Hold on, let me fix this. I need to put something over that. Because I don't like that light coming in. One of those lights coming in is an actual light bulb. And without that goddamn light coming in, it like, does like this cool, like, Yellow filter and shit. But fuck, I'll fix it later. I need to quit ranting. Okay, I'm naked. Okay, I'm, I'm goddamn butt ass naked. I need to go get a haircut. God, my hair's too long. Butt ass naked. This camera is inverted. Okay, everything that's on this arm is really on this arm. Everything that's on this arm is really on this arm. It's weird. Everything's inverted. To work with me. I think anyway. Yeah, everything's inverted. This, this should be here. This skull should be here. And this bar bar should be here. What the fuck? Okay, enough ranting. I'm trying to make this quick. So if I can get something up, a little bit interesting. Um, I'm going to tell you all my tattoos, why I got them, and give my opinion on tattoos if you're thinking about getting one yourself. Um, I guess I can tell them in order. I guess I don't, I guess it don't fucking matter. Start with this one. Okay. Um, let me pull this camera up. Uh, excuse this, excuse this. This is going to happen a lot. Just get rid of you. Ah, um, oh, yeah, look at that sexy ass crony arm. Look at that, look at that sexy ass dope hit on. Um, this tattoo. God damn it. I'm trying to look at my camera screen. There we go. There we go. Okay. This tattoo. It's mountains and a bunch of fucking numer numerals bullshit. Um, this tattoo stands for uh, the G, God, and the greater symbol. And then up now, God is greater than the ups and downs. Mountain peaks. Um, this tattoo cost $20 from a dude on fucking flat gap goddamn tattoo. And $20, it really was, it's not that bad. I thought that this was going to be the worst mistake I made. thought it'd be shit. But it came out just as good as these ones I paid $100 for. I mean, you pay for what you get, it's not that detailed. It kind of don't really pop. It does look... Kinda of reminds me of just like a stencil, it's kind of just bland on like my other ones. Um, but fuck, for twenty dollars, can't I can't complain? I mean, it's it's there, it's solid, colored, it's fucking nasty looking. So I mean, I ain't complaining. Um, this is my first. It should be here. God damn it, this is my first tattoo I got, dude. Um, very first tattoo. I was scared shitless. I didn't. I wanted a tattoo, but at the same time, I didn't. Now you know, I just. I've always wanted one, and your mom's like, no, you ain't never getting tattooed till you're 18, you're 18, you got 18, and at that point, my mom was like, telling my sisters, like, you can't take him to go get one, um, they finally, um, my buddy Kyle, me and him went and got it, and he, he took me, and I was like, fuck, I'm gonna give you, yeah, I'll give you gas, man, let's go get some goddamn tattoos, we got him, man, yeah, I got I Kyle take me, I was like, fuck you, um, I got a car, so I got, I had a car pool, so which one did I get next, um, this one, this one, I got next, Need I remind you, all these except this one, this this one's the only one that has a story. The rest of these I just pulled off Google, this random ass tattoos I thought looked cool. This one. Um, a different dude did this. Same dude that did Mother 3. But he's my tattoo artist now. If I give money, I'm going back to him in a heartbeat. Um, fuck. I'm going to pull this up if I can do it, I guess. It's a fucking skull, obviously. And the skull says on it. Fucking goddamn it. There we go. See no evil. See no evil, dude. Fucking line fold over the eye, see no evil skull, motherfucker. It looks, it's popping, dude. This is legit. This is true art, dude. This is popping. True goddamn art. I love it, man. I love how it pops. I love how, like, look at the side of it. I love it, dude. This didn't hurt at all, really. This cost me $75? Yeah, dude, 75 an hour, and it barely took an hour. So, we, yeah, 72. No, it took a little. It like an hour and like 50 minutes. He's charged me 75. But, you know, yeah, that'd be some bitch shit charged me over. This one didn't hurt. Now, what the, I'm, I'm going to tell you, this one means nothing. I got this on impulse. I mean, don't regret it. Just got it for the fuck of it. Okay. Okay. Now, this one I did pull off. Just pull off Google. But it kind of does have a little bit of meaning to me. Um, see no evil. I mean, it just means that. It's a simple fact of... I mean, call it cheesy, but it bites me in the ass a lot. But I'm a firm believer in second chances, dude. Honestly. Um, I don't... I don't I try not to see the evil, dude. It's, it sounds tacky, like some from a movie, but honestly, I try not to see the evil in people. Sometimes I don't show it. Sometimes I get really pissed off. Sometimes I'm not willing to fucking listen, but for the most part, I try to literally, I, 
I pretty much always live by this. I see no evil. As far as the skull, I just fucking found the skull on Google. And I was like, goddamn, make this goddamn tattoo. <laughs> JT was like, hell yeah. I can damn to some skulls. But like my sister on my dad's side, I really shouldn't say this, but she got real bad on something she shouldn't gone on. She had a kid. Tried her damn skit off of it. She literally did. Like cut cold turkey with draws, puking her goddamn guts up every day. Everyone, dude. Dad, my mom. My mom didn't even got him right to say anything. My mom ain't fucking no kin to her. My mom, my sister, everyone, dude. Now, my, my mom was like, literally at one point, like, if you go fuck with her, I'll kick you out of my house. I'm like, well, fuck you. That's my goddamn sister. She can kiss my goddamn ass. Fuck you. You can goddamn tell me that. Just out of fucking spot because you're fucking pissed off my dad. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, I didn't see the evil, man. Everyone else fucking, I swear to God, I ain't, I ain't saying this, just say it, dude. Everyone else got him doubted. Everyone else said, you ain't gonna fucking do it. That kid gonna, you're gonna have that kid get taken away, you're gonna relapse, you're gonna take it away from you, you're gonna be right back restarting. She was like, she was like, I mean, I was, I, I mean, literally no one else, I mean, I ain't even just saying that, I swear to God, no other family member fucking well, genuinely believed in her. And it pissed me off. She was staying with Annie Papa all the time, and you know, she stayed in my room, I had bunk bed. I got bunk beds. For that specific reason, when people come over, family comes over, I'd be on top bunk, she'd be on the bottom, and I'd be like, nigga, I see no evil. <laughs> like, I see no evil, sister. You try, there's no evil. You know, anyone can change, man. There's always sunshine. There's always sun. Now, nah, you ain't gonna sound cool, but nigga, there's always sunshine beneath the darkest of clouds, man. I ain't no, I ain't, I ain't see no evil, man. And this one, a bar bar. I got this one because of my dad. My dad's got a bar bar tattoo, and I was like, "Dang, you mean him? What you talking about?" And we pretty much was low key. I was like, "You mean?" I was getting a whole. I was getting some tattoos. You know, I already had these three. And he was like, "Um, I had. Well, I actually had. Um, which one did I have? I had this one and this one. This this one. Yeah, these two. Yeah, I had these two. And he was like, "Hell yeah, man! If you're gonna just keep getting tattoos, must mean you got them. You know, fucking get bar bar or some shit. Don't get the exact one. Go get bar bar, dude." I was like, eh, maybe. And I was like, you know, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, let's go let's get back to bar bar tattoos. Then we'll goddamn at the beach. We'll fucking side by side. We'll be like, goddamn, put our arms together like some shit. Like, ah. I ain't get no gay shit and put no father and son on that. But yeah, I mean, fuck it. Yeah, I want to fuck not. Hell yeah. Then his girlfriend seen it. And she was like, what? She was like, I'm like, I'm like nigga, you just mad because I wear it better. I mean, this is all tiny, all fucking sun, like sun beating. My beard. Fuck, I like big. I don't like them tiny. Fuck that. Probably the only fucking high. I'm probably the only kid. I'm probably the only fucking person in my generation with a bar bar tattoo. Fuck it, man. I wear it good. I fucking make it look good, man. Everyone's telling me, oh, that means gay. Everyone telling me, like, that means gay. It means this. It means that. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know, no, it don't got that. No. It means what I'm telling me, man. I don't goddamn follow. I don't care what a fucking. I don't care what goddamn. I don't even look on Google, man. I don't give a fuck what Google says a tattoo means. That's why y'all goddamn McGregor's, man. You can't worry about what fucking Google says a tattoo means. I mean, you got it means straight up. You worry about what you mean? Don't get a goddamn crypt tattooed on your chest, obviously, or blood, something. Oh, fuck yeah, no, that's fucking bad. I mean, some people say, I mean, you know, you're goddamn retarded. It means your life is complete or something. You're only like 18. I'm like, goddamn, it don't mean nothing. They don't mean nothing like that, man. It means, to me, it means my dad got one. I got one. So we won a fucking match, dog. That's what it means to me. So I don't regret my shit. That's why you fucking get one and you fucking 18. You barely 18. Just get one fucking 10 minutes later trying to cover it up. You worry too much about what other people think. What other people think about it. What the fucking stigma is on it, man. Fuck yeah. You know? Um, God damn, no 13 minutes on this video. This one. My most recent. And my most painful. <coughs> Excuse me. My bad. Excuse me. Was, um, My last tattoo. And my most painful. All these tattoos. I mean, things kind of stung a little bit. All of them. But there was no pain. Because like, this one, I mean, I thought this one hurt on the fucking top of my shoulder like right in here. When hit that bone, no, 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 that didn't compare. This tattoo, I ain't, I ain't afraid to admit it, dude. I mean, I didn't, because my sister took me and Roy with me, and they were like, man, we gotta watch you go cry, I'm gonna watch you cry, by God, and I'm like, oh, you got it, man, I was like, you know what, I was thinking about how you fucking said that. I mean, until they said that, I wasn't fucking tearing up, but dude, I, when they said that, I fucking shut that shit all the way up. I ain't gonna lie, dude, this ain't goddamn hurt. I was so thinking, I was like, goddamn, I can't tap out, I'm just have back on my arm. Fuck, what the fuck did I get into? I was fucking sitting there. Dying, dude. I was like, God damn, JT, you done yet? I mean, probably the most painful tattoo since I've been doing sleep with a dude. He worked with me, he gave me a really good deal on it. I had 75 an hour, it took like three hours, smelling like a $300 tattoo, but um, I got this for 100 And I mean, 
Yeah, it would have been every bit worth the three hundred. Um, it's 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 all right, man. It's pretty goddamn. I mean, it's a good tattoo, man. I, I like it, dude. And this one has a deeper meaning to it, like a really deep meaning. The rest of these, I'm more or less just fucking slapped on. I'm just like, yeah, fuck it. I mean, it, this this is what this is for. I mean, it's just like this something I pretty much popped off my head. This one's got a real serious. This one means a lot to me. And people all the time were like, I almost, I fought, I fought a couple people over, it, dude. I had people, I'd be telling them, I'd be like, they, you know, this be for the hell. They'd be like, yo, yo, you got backwards, get badass on the other one. I'm like, no, dude, this tattoo ain't stupid. This ain't these other ones. This, this one's serious. And no, dude. And they'd keep begging on. they like, I'm like, we're going to goddamn fight. Shut your goddamn mouth. And I fought a couple people. Fought, fought two or three people over it. I'm going to explain this in a later video, though. But this one is meaningful as fuck, dude. This one actually means something to me. This one will always mean something. I'll always remember what this one means. It's, it's it sounds it sounds stupid to most, but I don't give a damn. It means the world to me, so what it means, but fuck it. But I mean, 16 minutes. I guess I'll wrap this in 20 just for the fuck of it. But dude, if any y'all out there, you know, 17, 18, maybe you know, thinking about getting tattooed, even younger, you know, ain't got a tattoo, you thinking about it, dude? Biggest advice I can give you. Um. Don't get anything on impulse. Don't get anything because you, your homies are getting in, or don't get anything because you know things. You know, so it's like, oh man, that this looks so cool. These motherfuckers think it look badass as fuck. No, no, that's the wrong reason, dude. And I ain't got that too. You know, every other motherfucker's wrong. I mean, I mean, in my opinion, every other motherfucker's stupid. You know, especially my sisters. Every tattoo I go to try to get, you know, they wouldn't take me for any of these. Cause like, no, 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 them don't mean shit. Them don't mean shit. Them are stupid. No, fuck it. It has to have a deep, deep, dark. It has to have a deep meaning in your soul. And I'm like, I told my second more sister, I'm like, that's why you got no shit, she got a goddamn mustache tattoo. I'm like, that's why you gotta get a mustache on your fucking finger, right? That's fucking stupid. I'm 18, tell me my tattoos are stupid. Mine, all mine all got some kind of meaning. Some greater than others, but they, I mean, they, I mean, I still got them for some reason, you know. You, 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 that's just stupid. And now you tell me I'm stupid, that's got him retarded. Kind of. I mean, do take your time. I mean, if you want, I mean... It ain't got to, honestly, because straight up, people say, people talk about shit, oh, you regret it, you regret it, you regret it. Dude, goddamn. I don't even know any of these are here unless I look at them. I swear to God, sometimes I'll sometimes I forget they're there and I'll be in the shower. I'll be in the shower and I'm like, goddamn, what the fuck that happened? What the fuck about you? What the fuck? <laughs> no shit, dude. The half time, honestly, God, you forget they're there. No shit. No, I'm not even lying. My buddy Kyle will tell you that, dude. You straight up, you forget they're there. Um, so I don't worry about that, but. Do not go nothing big, you know, don't get something like his first tattoo, it'd be a bad idea. I'd recommend something like his size, uh, this size for first tattoo, maybe a little bigger, if you want to make it a little smaller, just get a feel of what, just get an idea of what it feel like. Each each spot of your body is different for the pain, but I'll tell you, in one spot you get it here, it may be a little bit sharper up here on the shoulder, maybe hell sharper here, but you don't get an idea of what the needle feels like and if you think you can handle it or not, that's what I'm saying. But, I mean, you could do like me, I mean, I ain't regretting it yet, but I can't speak for myself. When I'm fucking 50 or 40. Hell, I could be 20 in two years and I can fucking regret it. I'd be like, God damn, why did I get any of those stupid things? But right now, I mean, I'm just like, because, I mean, you gotta take your time with me. Whether it has a deep meaning or not, or it's just something cool you pull up off Google and you're like, fuck, man, maybe, you know what I mean? You gotta think hard about it. Because, yeah, I mean, this thing's your favorite motherfucker's like, oh, you can get it removed. Oh, goddamn, you wanna get this thing removed? You better have a steady bank account. And you better have good goddamn pain tolerance. <laughs> you have a good pain tolerance. I ain't even joking. I've heard stories about that fuck shit. But... Yeah, I mean, and dude, do, do, do your research on your artist. I fucked up. I got this one off of doing on Flag Gap. Everyone goes to me, go, yeah, I'm go to him. And I don't fuck with him. I'm surprised this thing came out good because I swear to God, I was looking at shit after after he did this tattoo. I decided to wait till after he did mine to look through shit. Some stuff. Well, I found like three tattoos. Beautiful as fuck. Find another one. Sloppies all in fuck, and everyone get bitchy like, oh, when did you got in four or five tattoos in one day? Like, um, no, my tattoo artist, um, JT, you know, all these are good. You know, he, this one was his fifth one that one day. He's from tired as fuck, barely awake. Did this and how he did it beautifully. Um, I think I was like his, I was his last thing. I was his sixth, his sixth or seventh that day. His last on this and beautiful. This one, beautiful. I think I was first or second. Beautiful, man. See, what I like about my artist, which a lot of, I know a lot of artists do this, but I like about my artist, I keep him, well, not only is he cool as fuck, and he works with like a motherfucker, if you know you broke, and you want that too, but it's like, he's like, yo, this one, this is gonna cost 120, like, god damn, dude, I'll have to come back to you, I mean, I only got 100, he'll be like, nah, 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 fuck it, just come in, I'll, fuck, we'll just do 100, come fucking, come on, 
Swear to God, he'll do that for you. And the dude that did this one, he didn't. He just fucking pulled it, pulled the picture off Google and just fucking put it on your body. That's why I'm saying it looks like a stencil, dude. It looks like a stencil, like straight up. So it looks like twenty dollars, which you gonna get, you gonna get. It don't, it just don't, don't look. It don't look like a tattoo. Like honestly, just it looks and feels like marker. I mean, it don't feel like it. It doesn't feel like art. I don't see no art style to it. Like I don't see any style there. I just see fucking stencil, man. There's no style. But this one, this one, dude. I mean, I did pick, pick this one right here. I did pick a picture of a skull off the internet. We had up an idea of what I wanted. This looks a million times better than the skull, dude. This, 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 this thing is like he, he fucking he drew up something. On my arm, told me to look in the mirror. I'm like, God damn, dude, you you've exceeded my expectations like a motherfucker, man. I couldn't have fucking imagined it any better. Like, hell yeah, dude. He made it. I mean, it looks sick, dude. That's true art. That's worth a hundred dollars. So, I mean, everyone in everyone I fucking know is like, oh, you fucking retarded. Pay hundred dollars for a tattoo or seventy five. I mean, how much money for your tattoo? You go to Gene Copy and get twenty five dollars. I mean, you pay twenty five dollars for your tattoo. It's gonna look like shit five or six years down the road. It's gonna be fade out and look like shit. Or or you gotta risk him fucking up your lines and shit, and, and it ain't gonna pop. It's gonna look fucking bland and stupid. You know, oh my, oh my, oh my goddamn pop, dude. JT got him. I don't talk. I don't. You know, I ain't gonna fucking kiss ass someone. Just you know, especially they're putting something on my skin. will be on there forever. I mean, this shit's pops, dude. I love it. It just feels like an art. It feels like art. It's like an art style. This one, I mean, these two are just kind of playing with this skull mostly, dude. It just feels like goddamn beautiful art, dude. It's beautiful, dude. He's an artist and a half, man. I go to him every time. I'm going for a sleep. I'm going back. This video. I'll be gone. Damn. I'll be goddamn. I'm gonna have to edit this fucking video now. I fucking hovered around the stop next and click stop halfway through my sentence. So I'm gonna try to keep it from not sounding fucked. But if it sounds fucked, it sounds fucked. I'll probably do like some technical difficulty bullshit or whatever. Edit the fucking amount though. But what I was trying to say is this video is supposed to be like 15 minutes. So I could upload quick. I done gone on goddamn 20 minutes. 20 minutes long. So. Hope y'all liked this video. Uh, if you did, leave a like, comment. You know, let me let me know your let me a little comment. You know, you know, comment your first tattoos or comment me your Instagram uh, and some shit. Uh, I want to add you. You know, see your tattoos or if you want to talk to me, maybe get a little one on one advice. You know, I don't know everything. I only got like fucking four of them, but I mean, I feel like I can give you good enough advice where you want to fuck yourself up. I mean, if any y'all want to send me your, any y'all got tattoos, want to send me pictures of your tattoos? Hell yeah. Luke. Leave me your Instagram either in the comments or find me on Instagram and mark uh, mark uh, dips. Hell yeah, dude. But uh, next time, y'all, man, dude, I'm out of here.